Hey, this is Carmel, Being and Becoming Dot Life. This is your 10 minute daily download. I am feeling a recurring conversation or experiencing a recurring conversation happening at this time, especially, I don't know about especially, actually it could be quite a prevalent conversation around the globe at the moment as the freedom fighters gather. I don't know why they're being called freedom fighters because from what I can tell it's more like freedom peacekeepers and they are standing not fighting and they're creating community and unity through all that they're doing um, as they pop up around the globe it seems and in New Zealand there is a big congregation going on now where they've occupied the parliament grounds and I haven't been down there physically my body has not been down there yet I might go. I'm not feeling called just yet. I feel like I've been very present in the field. Not so much today. I had to pull my energy out today so I could focus more on clients and be present with clients. But over the last couple of days, I had a break from clients, which I like to do. I don't work five days a week. I just work two or three days a week with clients. And then I put my energy in other places that it is called to. And for the last three days it was quite diligently called to Wellington and I've been present in the field there a lot and people are asking you know are you going down when you're going down I'm like well I've been there and like, oh, when did you go and I've been there all day and you stay the day before but you've been at home yeah I've been at home and I've been down there it's like I think it's time that we really started to understand that our body, our physical body, is inside us. We are not inside our body. There's been this kind of misconception going on for such a long time that our soul is housed inside this physical human body. That doesn't resonate with me. Even the word soul doesn't resonate with me so much anymore. What resonates more is our elemental nature. And we feel into our element when we feel into our elemental nature as earth and air and fire and water and ether, and we feel into our, the elemental level of our nature, remembering we are nature, we feel into how much bigger we are than just this physical body. And if I sit and be really present with myself, with the energy that is calling me and the energy that is me I need I can feel where my energy has been called to and it's in Wellington a lot it's also over in California when my mother-in-law broke her hip and I feel like I've been really present with her it's with other people in my life in this country and in other countries that I love and care for so people I don't know, people I've never met before, if I feel into certain situations and circumstances going on in certain areas, my energy, my elemental nature can be there. Or while I just sit right here, the client I just had just now is about 15, nearly 20 years younger than me, good 15, 17 years younger than me. and. I don't mingle met with many of the men in her age group. But when I feel into her and the experiences she's having with those men, I feel them. I feel their intention. I'm able to sort of say to her, mm, they feel a whole lot more emotional than you might be giving them credit for at this moment or you might be acknowledging at this moment. She's like, yeah, you're right. They're quite an emotional group of men. Like, yeah, it feels like there's this new wave of emotionality that's coming up in these men right now. They might not know what their role is in the world because they're not of the mentality of those that were 20, 30 years older than them. And so you can, I can feel into different elemental natures of expression in human form by being in one place. And this is a particular 
um, I was going to use the word level, but it's not a level. It's just a particular expression of consciousness on the planet at this time. We all have it, whether we choose to really use it or not is another conversation. But if you choose to use this elemental nature within you to feel into and be present in other areas, you'll notice that your thought forms can make an impression on other people. So if you're continuously thinking that someone's an asshole and they're no good, and they're showing up all wrong and what they're doing is wrong and they're in the wrong place and they're not fitting in to your life how you want them to fit in, then you start to influence them in a subtle but powerful way. And you can do that in a derogatory, negative, kind of destructive way, or you can do it in a really profound, profoundly supportive, nourish, nourishing and nurturing way. Imagine if you are continually sending energy to someone in, from your elemental nature that's wrapping them in your arms, that's stroking their hair and kissing their face and putting your hands on their heart and whispering in their ear saying, you've got this, you know exactly what you're doing. You're way more powerful than you've been conditioned and programmed to believe. Show up as only you can show up. You are meant to be here. You belong here. You are safe here. And everything you're doing in this now moment is exactly what wants to be happening. The right thing is always happening through you when you show up as you. Now, how different is that to receive that kind of wording and that kind of information than if you're receiving wording like, I don't even want to go there, you know? You ma imagine it for yourself. You don't belong. You're not safe. This isn't right for you. You're not right. You're not fitting in. This is... Blah, 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 blah. We are so powerful. So if you're not feeling called to go and physically show up, for something that's okay it's not your calling you're not being called there feel into whether or not it feels more empowering for you and more potent and powerful for your elemental nature to go there energetically to go there in the field the field of all things you know you can still smell the air down there, you can still hear the noise, you can still be present. And it's not less, it's just different. Being there in person is really important, like it's showing physical on the ground presence and it's showing people on that 3D level what's needing to change. But when we get to the higher, not but, and when we get to the higher dimensions, there's even more going on. on an energetic level that is imprinting in ways that you can't even possibly know. We need all levels. We want to be careful not to exclude certain levels. We want to be present in all of them. But what happens when you just show up as you, the way you've been being called to show up, without showing up in a way that you feel like you should be showing up? I am Carmel. I hope you show up in whatever way you feel most called to show up and that you show up as the self that feels authentic and aligned with who you're meant to be in the world. If you remember that you've been conditioned and programmed to believe that you're less than and different than and that you should fit in in a certain way, let's reprogram that. Let's turn that around. Let's blitz that shit because it ain't gonna fly where we're going. The future's frequency, baby. <laughs> we want to Really rock our frequency. Take care of your frequency. That's what it's all about. The future is frequency. I'm Carmel, www.beingandbecoming.life. I would love to serve you. We could start with a tarot card reading and springboard from there into conscious conversation or whatever feels most supportive for you to show up being and doing you. Excuse my pointing. I wish I didn't point right now. Oh, pointing bad. <laughs> I love you.